Hey guys, Nick Espinoza, your chief security fanatic here. And today we're talking about cyber attacks. And we're going to get kind of specific, but it's also going to be broad as well. And this may not necessarily make sense, but hear me out right now. Now, we all have seen cyber attacks against corporations, organizations, government entities, governments themselves, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But what happens when the internet itself is under attack by unknown sources? And that's what we're talking about today. Now, <clears throat> recently, ICANN, or the Internet Corporation for Assigned Names and Numbers, these are the people that issue your .com, etc., declared essentially a state of emergency and had an emergency meeting. And I've got some notes here because this is actually very interesting. They are saying that there is an ongoing and significant risk to key parts of the Internet infrastructure that, defect, uh, that affects domains and basically where websites reside. We are under attack. Now, key parts of the internet infrastructure are facing large-scale attacks that literally threaten the global system for web traffic and all this kind of stuff. Now, their CTO, David Conrad, told the press they are going after the internet infrastructure itself. They have been targeting, there have been targeted attacks in the past, but nothing like this. Now, ICANN has been recording attacks on infrastructure for the United States, or excuse me, for the globe since 2017, but it has significantly escalated to the point where they have declared this emergency. Now, primarily, most of these attacks are going after the domain name system, or DNS. Now, this routes, if you're not familiar, this basically routes traffic to where it's supposed to go. So if you type in google.com, it actually, your DNS gets queried, and then it routes you properly to Google. If you are able to hijack that, and you type in google.com instead of going to Google, you will go somewhere else, somewhere malicious. They've actually coined a phrase for this called DN espionage, and is a serious problem. But we have known for the last few years, and I've been hearing reports, that somebody has been probing the internet at critical points, critical infrastructure junctures, and all of that, and now we are starting to see this come to fruition. So is it state-sponsored? Is it somebody like Russia or China or even the United States? Is it a whole bunch of hacktivist groups like Anonymous or whoever? You tell me, but right now we are under attack, and a state of emergency has been declared on the internet and that is the status of what it is. And you are listening to this and watching this on the internet, and uh, hopefully you're not being rerouted somewhere you shouldn't be. And please like, share, follow me here on Facebook and Twitter at Nick AESP. And as always, stay safe and stay online. Thanks, guys.